Welcome back to part two of the ECU and coil and plug install. I got the parts to make the tachometer work, so let's see what's in the bag. In this bag are two modules that are going to make the tachometer work in the Corolla. I don't want to use an aftermarket tachometer. I want to use the original one on my Corolla because I, I really like it. It adds to the effect of driving it. So we're going to get this guy wired in and make the tach work. So here we have the shop manual that we're going to use to see if we can identify where and which cable is for the tack. In the back we have a wiring diagram. So let's open up. Oh, oh. that's exciting. Okay, so it's a black wire that comes out of the igniter. So that's kind of a non-unique color. So it'll be a little tricky to find, but let's see if we can tone it out using a multimeter. Oh, there it is. That's the one. There's the wire for the tachometer. We got the two modules. I got the ground. I got the coil signal in intercept. The switched power for both of those little relay, relay deals. All right, three, two, one. Look at that. Oh, oh. Okay, so now what I did is I disconnected this, this unit on the left, the one that we wired in that was supposed to interpret the signal. So I disconnected it and I wired directly now this bigger module, um, which is supposed to spike the tack so that way it works. And I think it's working perfectly. So watch, let me fire this up. Ready? Look at that. Beautiful. Hot dog. I'm on the finishing straight now. So here's where it's at. I got all the wires tucked away. They look really good. I have the USB cable so that way I can connect it to the computer. Right here that I'm planning on running down under here and pop it out through the glove box. So that way if I ever need to tune it, I can do it without having to take the whole dash apart. Uh, the ECU is sitting nice and firm here. Absolutely fantastic. No jiggling, no wiggling. I fired up the car to make sure that I'm still not having any issues. All sensors are working. There's no pinches or breaks in those wires. And I got the air filter and the trumpets back in as well. So we are literally moments away from lowering the car off the jack stands and seeing how it runs on a bass tune. looks like now. ECU is installed, the wiring is all cleaned up, and it looks fantastic. So now that the car is running and everything is back together, I'm going to go out and try to do a road tune with it. This is possible with the Link ECU because it does allow for logging, and I'm going to use the mixture map function, which is going to go through and compare the values, and that way we can get the, the fuel mixture where it should be. Fun stuff to run into other Toyotas while you're out tuning. Super dirty right now because it just sits at my house out here. I only drive it a couple times a week. What are we going to go? What are you Alex Destin, man. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, I was just like, how funny. I go out to tune my car. Yeah. And what do I see? I see freaking another Toyota. You're 
you're going out to tune yours right now? I'm doing it right now. I'm logging it. Oh, okay. Sweet, man. So I'll, I'll, I'll pop mine up so you can see that. Yeah, yeah. These things are really clean. You don't really see these too often. This thing is really clean, man. Well, I've, I've restored this thing from the ground up, man. I, ha I had an 8.6 for a while. With a, I actually put a 1UZ in that thing. Oh, yeah. Wow. So this is basically just the front-wheel drive 84AG then. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. Wow, these things are sweet, man. pretty good so far. I got the air fuel ratios going pretty good on the Link ECU software. Tuning the ECU is going pretty darn well. The engine is running really smooth now and I think I might actually have a good shot at possibly beating the tuner or at least matching where it's at because the engine is running really strong. <laughs> But I did discover the tachometer is not working over 6,000 RPMs. I think it might be the tack booster. I don't know if it was designed to run at engine speeds that high, but you know, 4AG 20 valve, it's gonna redline at 8,500 RPMs. But I'm gonna drive it some more, get some more road tuning going, get it smoothed out so that way it's ready to go up against the pro tuner. been cooped up for a little while while I've been doing this ECU upgrade so I thought to take it out I'm gonna take it to a cars and coffee I'm back in the garage to address the tachometer issue and let me just show you what's happening. So firing up the car, we got good, uh, good reaction from the tachometer. That's good, that's good. And that's where it goes. After 6,000 RPMs, it kind of cuts out. So that's the thing that I'm trying to fix. Uh, looks like the tack booster works fine right up until 6,000 RPMs. And then after that, it just starts going random, but it never goes any higher. So there's a couple of things that if people have mentioned. I'm going to try them and see if we can get it going. I got the gauge cluster hooked back up with the smaller resistor and long story short, it doesn't work. So we gotta still keep looking for a solution. <laughs> 